and see what's in it. There it is. A bark beetle is uh, an ecological classification of an insect that tunnels under the bark of a tree. And so what a bark beetle does is it will tunnel into the phloem, which is right under the bark. And it's doing this so that it can create habitat for young, where it'll lay eggs and its young will feed on that phloem. There are many bark beetles that are colonizing dead material and slash. Um, but there are some that do colonize living trees. And, and the trees do have to die for that process to be completed. Yeah, there are very few options to control large bark beetle outbreaks. One approach that we hope to do in Arizona is to improve the health and condition of forests. And this is done by thinning. But some of the alternatives are to reduce beetle populations in some way. And we hope to do this using uh, biological agents that are already found in these forests. This fungus is called Bavaria bassiana. It's a native fungus that you would find in almost any tree that's killed by bark beetles. And what happens is the spore of the fungus will attach to the exoskeleton of the beetle and then begin to grow into that exoskeleton and eventually uh, grow within that beetle and at killing it in about one or two days. The, the use of this would be like it would, like you would use a pesticide where you would spray a tree hope to protect that tree in the short term uh, and reduce bark beetle populations very quickly. The hope is that this can be applied to uh, thinning operations, it can be applied to places where pesticides can't be used like uh, campgrounds and uh, schoolyards. Uh, and the idea then is to reduce beetle populations so that they don't become uh, outbreak situations and we don't see large-scale mortality.